All right, people of Earth, it's cold. I'm in Florida, it's 30 degrees. Whole other debate. Those of you who say it's not colder here in Florida, even though it's the same temp up north, you're wrong. I don't care who you are. So, without further ado, uh, guys seem to enjoy the racing videos. However, I can't do that all the time. A, it's expensive. Uh, B, we will be doing another one. Uh, the beginning of February, we're gonna be up in Alabama. And uh, yep. No, I will not be with the minivan team. Uh, I have my own team. I was just doing the minivan for uh, help help somebody out that's kind of a friend of mine. So that's that. Next thing, it's cold. I'm freezing, but I need to get to a video this week. Uh, we're gonna do it on actually something that relates to what's going on right now, which those of you who don't know, it's the holidays. Uh, Christmas is tomorrow, that's right. You're gonna see the video the same day. I film it, edit it, and put it out. Can't guarantee a lot, but it'll happen because I need to get y'all a video this week because I've been kind of slacking because work has been extremely busy for me. Uh, Q busted F-150 that I want to burn to the ground. Uh, moving on, what is this week's video? The holidays. It's about a Christmas present. Uh, it's a Christmas present that I got from my wife. Uh, I did a couple things to get this car because I'll be honest, I don't make a ton of money. So without further ado, wait, wait, wait. Every stop, think for a minute. What did I get my wife for Christmas that could be on this channel? Drop a comment, even though you're gonna see the video and you're gonna know. But anyways, also we have mics, so if the sound's a little meh, I'm still learning on them. Without further ado, ta-da! All right, so what do I have behind me? I have a 95 Mustang GT convertible. Uh, there's a couple of very cool things about this car. First and foremost, it is a one owner car. We are the second owners of this car. Now, how did I end up with such a glorious car? Uh, a friend of mine had it. No, he was not the uh, owner of it. He got it in a, in a whole ordeal. Uh, he never did anything with it. He literally just parked it in a garage and it just sat there. And then uh, I got the phone call, hey, I know you want this car, come get it, get it out of my life. So uh, big thanks to that guy. He knows who he's at. I'm not gonna call him out. Um, if he watches these videos, I think he does. Um, big thanks to him for letting me get a hold of this. Uh, it is not mine. It is for my wife. Um, and why did I get my wife a Mustang GT convertible? Well, to be honest, a while back, um, we decided to get rid of a car that we had and she had a 2016 Mustang GT. Uh, she did like the car. I got it for her. It's a long story. So I kind of felt bad. She gave it up so that way I could get a newer truck. Now it is my wife. I get some of you are like, well, that's what wives do. Nah, yeah. But at the same time, you know, she didn't have anything that was her. She did end up with a Fiesta ST out of the deal, you know, life, life struggles. So she's super happy with that car too, but we A needed a third car. Uh, I usually always have three cars that are running and driving. Technically I have three, but my Beetle is not creature comfort in any way, shape or form. That thing is literally just a toy. So, um, yep, we got this. Uh, like I said, it's a one owner car. The odometer shows 60,000 miles. Um, I know that's not the true miles. Uh, it's around 80,000, which is still a really low mileage car. Uh, short story on the car, the guy, the original owner, bought it brand new. Uh, it was his first brand new car. Uh, I do know the gentleman's name. I have not met him. I'm not gonna put his name on camera because <laughs> reasons. And if he happens to watch these videos, he knows why. Um, so about the car, 80,000 miles, manual transmission, Convertible top, Mustang GT. I'm not a fan of convertibles, I'll be honest with you, um, but this car is amazing in every way, shape, and form with a couple little things that need to be cleaned up here and there. Um, I really like the car. Like I said, I got it for my wife for Christmas. She got it last night. She is currently working, otherwise I'd have her on camera. So that's not gonna happen. Uh, we'll do a walk around in the car and then I will put some cameras on it and go for a short trip in it because it's Christmas Eve. I can't get the car legal. Uh, in case you're wondering, I just picked it up yesterday. I did not want her to see it until we got it. Long story short. So, here it is. You'll see it is actually in really good shape, which is actually super surprising because anybody knows these Mustangs knows that the paint fades something awful. I don't know what it was with the 90s and um, doing that kind of stuff. I think it was just the paint quality. So, but you can see it's actually in really good shape. It's very, 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 very straight. There's not even any door dings down the side. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. It does have every single option you can buy in 95, with the exception of the Cobras. Those cars are really desirable. I can't afford them. 
So, see the paint's super nice. I haven't washed this car, buffed it, or done anything with it. Yes, I will do a video on it uh, when I get back from seeing family from up north. So, uh, original wheels, which is super surprising. Uh, the only modification this car has is it does have Flowmasters, because Mustang reasons. Uh, the interior is a kind of, yeah. Uh, the top is actually in pretty good shape. Back window's not falling out of it yet. Uh, it does have one tear right here in the convertible top, and that is the only thing wrong with it, which is super surprising because these things are usually bragged out pretty hard. So um, wifey stitches, she's going to try to fix it uh, just to close it up for the time being. Um, until further date when we probably put a new top on it. Uh, and I don't know what we're gonna do with the top, if we're gonna leave it as um, the beige, cause I'm not a fan. However, um, I am coming into my life and understanding that certain cars are time capsules. You will not find another one that has not been, um, lack of a better word, molested. Um, this one has not been. Um, it is running stock size tires. Um, they are nothing spectacular, if I remember correctly. They're literally just a 225-50-16. Uh, they're cheap tires. They're star fires. Not surprised kind of a thing. Uh, those of you who know these cars know they're very tail happy. So, um, yeah. Uh, we'll check out the interior of it next. This is not going to be very exciting. This is going to be for all you Mustang diehard owners that are super excited to see this kind of stuff. Also, if anybody is a Mustang owner and is crazy about these cars or crazy about Mustangs, do me a favor. This thing has gold locks, gold badging. I know it's got a gold horse up front right now. I know it has the badges in the back and I don't believe they're in the stock location. I'm not 100% certain. Why? Because I don't know Mustangs that much, but everything is in gold. And I know this is some kind of a package. I don't think this belongs here. I'm fairly certain of it. No, this car has not been wrecked also because that's going to be a comment. Um, so you're going to be like, somebody added that. No, no, they didn't. Um, Oh, well, they might have added it there, but the car hasn't been wrecked. I went over the car very thoroughly because I found out it was a one owner car. I found out the story behind it and I wanted to make sure I could authenticate it. No, there's no paint lines. Everything is factory. This is a 100% unmolested car other than Flowmasters. Opening the door, you will see the typical Mustang problems. A, it's been sitting, so it's dirty. I have to delete, I have to detail it before my wife. Uh, things I will be looking for is this. Also what's super impressive is, is you know these cars, no, these always come loose. These are not really loose. I have to fix the window switch bezel. Uh, the seat does have a small tear in it. Also, not really surprising because these things are usually get ragged out. Uh, the carpet's in fairly decent shape. It doesn't even smell like mold, which is super impressive. Um, dash isn't cracked in any way, shape, or form. Uh, that seat looks like nobody's ever sat in it. Um, that's broken, which isn't surprising. Uh, once again, I have not cleaned it. Leave me alone. Back seat doesn't look like it's ever been used. Hopefully, because it's a Mustang from the 90s. Um, brakes work amazing. Shifts just fine. I think it has a T5 transmission. It doesn't grind in any gears. Also super surprising. Uh, a couple also very cool things. It does have the mock stereo. Also, it has the window tent peeling away. Very custom. But it has the mock stereo that actually all still works. Heat, air conditioning, every single thing works in this car, even the convertible top. Okay, I lied. Uh, yesterday, when we were checking this car out, opening the top and everything like that, the window regulator for that went bad. Thank God it got stuck in the up position. So I lied, not every single thing works. But the heat works, the AC works, the radio works, it goes through the gears just fine. Um, it's a, you know, amazingly enough, unmolested Mustang GT. By the way, opening a hood with one hand, not the most easiest task. So, in case anybody's wondering, and will be in shock when I turn this camera around, you will see a 5.0 Mustang that doesn't have an intake on it. Ta-da! Like I said, completely unmolested. The battery is disconnected. It has a, uh, the, the parking lights get stuck on on occasion. Uh, I know why. It's a headlight switch. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just from lack of use, so... Uh, you'll see it's a very, very, very clean factory car. Like I said, this car sits a lot, so I'm not really surprised that it looks like something had made a home there at one point, but I know it hasn't chewed any wires. Now that I've said that, the car won't start to do something stupid. Uh, this is actually a very, very nice car. Um, I'm in shock of this. A lot of my friends who saw it were like, how did you find this? Well, I know people. 
but it, I know a guy. What's even more cool, as long as I get the right key fob out of my pocket. Original key fob. How crazy is that? And it works. Super cool. Very, very cool car. Original keys. Uh, some of you will already notice that um, it is a mass airflow sensor car. I hate it. I don't like mass airflow sensor cars. Also, those of you who know these cars know they're not the most powerful thing in the world. Uh, I did do a little bit of reading. It's like a 215 horsepower car out of a 50 V8, but it's from the early 90s. Um, I was 10 ish when this car was new. So, God, I feel old. Anyways. Um, like I said, everything works, including the, including the key fob. I lied. Something else that doesn't work is the trunk. Yeah, struts. We have a lizard. So yeah, the struts don't work for the trunk. It has been sitting. You can see everything is very unmolested in this car. Very, very unmolested. It's very weird. I have been looking and continue to look to see if there's any signs of this thing being repainted. And I don't see anything and it's really weird anyways um i'm gonna grab some more cameras we're gonna go for a short ride in it so you can actually let me start it warm it up it is cold for the record very very cold Ugh. Yep, there it goes. It is cold. It has flow masters. It's not very loud, even with flow masters. We're gonna give it a minute and let it get some heat in it before we go in and do anything stupid. It's cold. The heat does work in this car though, so. All right, I'm gonna go grab some other cameras ah, so you guys can see this. And we'll go down and make a quick jaunt down the road in it. That door buzzer though. How annoying is that? All right, we'll talk to you in a bit. All right, it's cold. So, as you can see, just look at the odometer. It's got 60K on it. I know that's not right. I was told it wasn't right. The uh, original owner had to have something done the odometer, so they did that. Uh, like I said, everything works. <coughs> Sorry. It's a very nice little car. Headliner's all in good shape. Uh, the heat does work. The radio works. Even more impressive. The CD player works. So yeah, but we can't listen to that because YouTube. <coughs> All right, we're gonna go for a short ride <laughs> so I can get in the heat. Um, All right, you guys will be looking at the hood. I have to move the car. It was at my neighbor's house for the Christmas. So, it does drive nice. As you can see, we're going over bumps and everything. It is very quiet in this car, surprisingly enough. There's no clunks or anything like that. And we'll go up the road. If I can learn how to drive a stick shift. So yeah, you in the car with me. No, it's very quiet. There's not a lot of wind noise, surprisingly enough, even though it's convertible. We do have a garage door opener. I wonder who that belongs to. Um, it doesn't pull. It drives very straight when the tires are fully inflated. Uh, we are just gonna go for a, a quick ride up the road in it. That way you guys can, uh, can see it. It's very quiet even though it has flow masters for the record. So yeah, it's nothing but a, uh, you know, basically an 80,000 mile 95 Mustang GT that my wife gets to drive. It's her toy, it's her, it's her baby, or it will be anyways. Uh, no, she, she still gets to keep the Fiesta, those of you making that comment, because I'm sure that's going to happen, so. Yep, 
Yep, that's it. We will, uh, I'm not gonna do a whole lot. A, it's cold outside. B, um, this is just a short review video. I haven't owned the car but a couple of days, so I don't know a lot about it. I have not had it up in here yet. We just have a car sitting here on the top of a hill. Why would you fucking do that? Like on a hill. That's a terrible spot. I know what it broke down. It's a freaking Corolla. It goes through the gears very nicely. Like there's no, there's no problems other than uh, I didn't push the clutch in far enough to shift gears. So, ooh, super. It literally just wants to do donuts. I now understand why people do these have these cars. Yes, I'm out beating on my wife's Christmas present. It happens. I actually really like this way this car drives, to be honest with you, and I'm not a Mustang person. Although a lot of you are gonna say I'm a Ford person because I own a Ford F-150, a Ford Fiesta, and now a Mustang. No, I'm not a Ford person. I like certain vehicles that are made by different manufacturers. I like this one. Why would you leave a Toyota Corolla in the middle of the road? No, I don't want another Corolla. Stop it. And I'm on a private road. Being semi-responsible. Not really. Penguin. Oh, hey, I'm an idiot. This car has heat. Oh, warmth. I do have to put the fear of God into my wife about this car because the back end will step out way easier than her last one. It does not have a, it has a solid rear axle instead of a independent rear like her 2016. So the back end of this car will want to step out and it doesn't have traction control. Uh, the convertible top does work for the record. Uh, I'm not going to show it to you because um, knowing my luck being as it hasn't been used in a while, it will get stuck down or something like that. And then I have a car that I have to fix a convertible top on. So, yeah. Anyways. Try not to be too stupid. Like, I don't want my neighbors getting mad at me for whipping a Mustang around on the roads and being really irresponsible. How, hey, does the cruise work? Yep. Ah, oh, warmth. We are going to uh, abuse this thing a little bit as soon as I can get away from not from anybody yelling at me. Man, this car drives so nice. I'm not a fan of convertibles. I'm really not but this actually doesn't have the awkward vibration or wobble that they all develop. So yeah. Will 
it through a burnout. Rubber tires stink. Surprised your neighbor didn't come out. Oh, he's heard it. Yeah. Mm, Fritz out there fucking with a Mustang. Those of you haters out there, both wheels. Alright, guys, as you can see, it runs and drives great. It does great burnouts. We're gonna go ahead and cut this here. Uh, we're gonna cut this out real short. Um, hope your holidays go well. Happy holidays to everybody. Um, I say Merry Christmas. I get it's not always politically correct anymore, but whatever. Um, Happy New Year if I don't have one out before then, I'm hoping to. Uh, I gotta do another video. It's a whole nother ordeal. So, uh, 95 Mustang GT, runs and drives great. Does great burnouts, cause Mustang things. It does amazing donuts, cause Mustang things. I have not found any crowds, cause Mustang things, so. Long story short, life's too short, get out, enjoy it.